Hello my awesome DIY army, welcome back to the channel. I know that I promised you this mirror over here, but it's holiday in Israel and I couldn't buy the material in time, so we're gonna postpone it of one week. So sign up if you still wanna see it next week. Meantime, we're gonna do something that is absolutely of my dreams. My Instagram has literally been spammed, and I mean spammed, with this little suit over here, and I'm completely obsessed about it. And instead of going and ordering from the super famous store in Amsterdam where all the influencers are posting about, I think it's time to remake it with one of our own there we go first step is always to try on your blazer it would be amazing if you have it with three buttons but even if you have it with only two it's fine just be sure that you can close it and that your beauties are gonna be covered when it's tight and closed and that you have the space to add it a skirt and a blazer and that it's long enough now that we know exactly where to make our cuts we just have to place down our blazer and then draw the line I just got a book as a reference just to be sure I would go straight and you open it, turn the blazer around and follow the same exact line also on the back of your blazer. You just wanna make sure that you're going straight and that the result is gonna be nice and neat. Da, da, da. Same thing also on the back and we follow the line straight with your book and you're done. Now, before we go ahead and cut it, we have to check that we are at the right height and we are covering our boobies. And more important than all, if you are not, Poly pocket size and you're a normal human being you're gonna have to put some effort in finding a blazer that covers your butt because we need to cover it yeah I don't know why I keep doing everything with a precision knife but I just feel more comfortable you can totally use scissors if that's your thing you just follow the line yeah, as you can see, this totally does not work out, but it's normal. You just have to make your skirt tighter now. It was an oversized blazer. You have to make it tighter. There we go. Just add two little spots with your pen where you want to put your buttons, both on the skirt and an extra one on your blazer. Then let's start from the skirt. We are going to have to stitch one inch inside the skirt. So to fold inside the inside, the outside and make it clean. What happens now is there's a kid crying outside for like an hour just because he wants to eat pizza. They have a pizzeria downstairs and that's so stereotype Italian, but that's true. Okay, what happens now is absolutely up to you. You can decide to take out thread, needle, and that's gonna be enough to sew your entire skirt. But if you do have a sewing machine, obviously that's gonna give it a more neat look. First stitches are made going back and forth with your sewing machine so to have a clean start and then you just take off a nail, go straight, take off a nail, go straight. That's exactly how it works all the way to the end. Time to make your jacket! Ta -da. We do exactly the same thing. We're gonna go and pin inside one inch and we have to make sure that we're catching both the inside and also the different fabric that is the inside of the jacket. We go all the way around straight making a little of carefulness on the lines of the sewingness and then you just go with your sewing machine straight again super easy let's talk buttons so the chances that you're gonna have an identical button to stick on the top of your blazers are like zero so for this reason i decided to cut out the button that i had on the sleeves so that i can apply it on the front of the blazer because we need a third button and then instead the ones of the sleeves i'm going to replace them with a random one that i find somewhere else there we go with a jacket first thing is stitching in the button you just start from the inside of your jacket so that the knot stays in the inside and then go in and out in and out in and out multiple times till your button is secured guys this step is easy what is going to be a bit more complicated is making instead the hole where we want to pass our bottom through go ahead and make a tiny hole exactly where the bottom has to be closed we test it and see if our hole is big enough once it's perfect as this one we go ahead and stitch it how do we do this very simple with a lot of patience you just start from the inside like always and then go inside the hole and around it inside the hole and around it so to make sure that we're making a circle that is going to make the button secured and no threads jumping out to make it super cute and neat time 
time to work on our skirt and this time it's easy. We don't even have to make the holes cause those we have them already. We just have to detach the buttons and stick them in the new spot that we marked previously with our pen. Starting from the inside, you go in and out, in and out multiple times. We do the first button, cut it out with your teeth or scissors, whatever you think is better. And do then the second button in the same identical way, starting from the inside and going in and out till your button is secured. Only problematic part of the skirt is that all the jackets do have one or two folds on the back. Here we have two. This means that we're gonna have to go now and stitch from the inside a closure. So to be sure that our bum stays the trick here is to overlap one piece of the material on the other one and then we're gonna have to sew putting the needle only halfway through the material you see it's double we don't want to catch the external part of the material only the inside so that we're not gonna see any stitch from the outside you go over and over doing the entire length of it and it's gonna be enough for you to be secured and covered on both the poles Ta -da! you see you see how it works awesome we're gonna have to do the same identical thing also on the other side. We arrived at this point where it's already looking pretty cool, but as you can see, it's an oversized blazer, so it does not have a waistline. So the trick to do this is put your skirt backwards, and then I'm gonna show you how to do it. How to do it. We're not gonna see this. Okay, this is the corners that we do not want like this. So we're gonna go and follow the sewing line that you can see over here. There it is. And we are gonna make this little triangular on the top, pin it, and that's where we are gonna go and sew. One side, another little triangular. Pin it. And this is gonna look great. Cut your sewing machine and just go with a straight line. You see, it's a triangle, super neat on the inside and on the outside you don't see anything because it's on the same sewing line. Guys, I'm so excited and I'm so happy that I decided to do this blazer outfit suit on my own instead of ordering it online. Don't forget to subscribe and come next week because the super attended and desired Ultra Fragola mirror over here is gonna come out. And now, let's go and see the result. How do you close? Okay, we got it.